I'm gonna go get an eye exam. I don't know the last time that I had one. I know that my sight is not what it once was. My appointment is in 25 minutes, but it just occurred to me that I actually wanna look cute for this because like, if I do indeed need glasses, and I think I do, then I, I wanna wear something that looks good. Right, do people do that so that I can make sure the frames look good on me? What do people wear? What do I normally wear? I always struggle with this. I honestly, I'm hoping that I do get glasses. Not because I want bad eyesight, but because I know that I could see better. I don't know if there's like a minimum badness for you to get glasses. Also, they benefit me. That's why I own non-prescription ones because my trichotillomania needs to be curbed and glasses help me curb that. So it's kind of, you know, win-win, give me glasses. But yeah, I don't know if there's like a criteria. I mean, of course there's a criteria, but like how unwell do my eyes have to be to get glasses, you know? I don't know what that, where that boundary lies. We're here. That's right, I'm doing this at Target. Cause I don't know what I'm doing. It's so nice outside. It's like, it's actually autumn. I mean, it is, but like we're in Texas, you know? I don't know what the filming stitch is. I'm assuming it's not gonna be easy to film in here. So stay tuned. I guess the entrance for it, for like the doctor, is on the outside. Wow. I was mildly intimidated by the idea of getting an eye exam. I didn't know if I would need to have my eyes dilated or if any part of it was kind of painful or uncomfortable. Thankfully, it was all pretty easy. I did have to get puffs of air into my eyes, which is weird, and I think that does something to like test the pressure. Hold on to that, cover your left eye, and read the smallest line that you can. It does not have to be the bottom line. Uh, S R Z K D V O H Z. Let's start with the right eye. How does this look? Clear or blurry? A little blurry. Can you read the letters? O N R K D. Good. Better or worse? Worse. I also had images of each eye taken with a blindingly bright green light. Yeah, so you have a little bit of astigmatism, which just means the front of the eye is shaped more like a football than a sphere. Just oh. a type of prescription, nothing bad. Um, it might take you a little time to get used to them because of that. But, oh, okay. Um, so if they feel a little weird at first when you get them, that's normal. Okay. Feel weird as in like the vision like, would be like... It will be clear. The things may look a little skewed. Mm. Potentially. But some people, you don't have a lot of it, so you may not experience it at all. Okay. But if you do, just like tell people. Like. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. And the worst part of it, which really wasn't all that bad, but it freaked me out. She went and put my contacts in for me. I'm going to wash my hands and put them in for you first. If you're putting one of these in and taking them out, it's very important to wash your hands really well with soap and water, of course. Mm -hmm. And to dry your hands with something that doesn't need any fibers on your fingers. Mm -hmm. So you want to put it on the tip of your finger like this. You mm -hmm. want it to be a nice rounded bowl. That is the correct way. When it's inside out, the edges are more convex. That is the uh. wrong way. So you always want to check when you're putting lenses in. Don't assume they're the right way in the, in the case. Mm -hmm. Put your head back for me. Look <clears> down. <throat> look up. Look to your left. Look towards me. Good. The one in the right eye has a stigmatism correction. It's not exact prescription, it's close. Okay. The left one doesn't have a stigmatism correction. So the right eye, when I when you first put it on, it may take a moment for it to settle to give you good vision. Oh, it might be interesting. 
Thank you. Bye. All right. I do need glasses. Um, I'm in astigmatism in my right eye. I have contacts in right now. She put them in for me and I had to take them out and put them in in front of her. I had no problem at all with my left eye, but I struggled to get the right one out. Pretty frustrating. <laughs> I'm gonna see about getting this prescription filled here. If this guy will show back up. Ooh. Check that out. That's fun. I don't think I could ever rock that though. Ooh, hello. Okay, that didn't do bad. <laughs> Pretty Not mild too blind. Yeah, no, no. Have you had a pair of glasses before? No. Okay, this will be your first. Then. Yeah. All right, yeah. Depending on what kind of lens you're going to want, mm -hmm. start at very basic lenses for the whole set at $59. That's including the plastic lens that's UV protected and scratch resistant. Cool. Look around, yeah. try some things on. Well, um, do. Everything's mixed, men's and women. They're all just separa separated by brands. Cool. So, okay. Thank I'll you. I'll let you have at it. Thanks. Do these brands sell these things as like non-prescription things too? You can if you want. Just like... mm. These are fun, but I don't know why I would want to pay to get it. <laughs> convinced I don't have an astigmatism. I know that my contacts are not exactly right, that I'll get the right ones next week, but I swear to God, my vision is worse in this eye. Way worse. It's supposed to be better, just not perfect. My prescription should be perfect. This is just bad yeah everything is blurry so what do i do how does this work like what if i get the wrong prescription is that possible even i don't know how any of this works is it possible for somebody to examine my eye incorrectly and then i freaking pay for glasses that are incorrect is that how this is that does that happen Again, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm really new to this world of the optometry, but it doesn't seem right. I, I can't even, every, it's blurry. From here to my fridge is blurry now. It definitely wasn't before and it's not in my left eye. I don't know, dude. I, I'll report back later. It's my first time taking out my contacts without a professional around. 
I've only had experience, aside from the one time that I removed these today, um, removing costume contacts. That was only twice. Once was like a couple weeks ago for Halloween and a few years before that. I had a pretty hard time today getting the astigmatism contact out. Very, very challenging for me. So cross your fingers. You might hear my artificial fireplace on right now. It's cold. So weird. This towel's fine, right? I'm supposed to not use a very like fluffy type of, you know, I don't wanna get fibers in my eyes. I think that's fine. Okay. I also gotta remember to put the contacts in the right thingy since they're different. This one was easy. Let's see if it's easy this time though. I have a hard time holding up in my freaking eyeball. Yeah, got it. First try, no problem. I'm a little worried about this other one. <laughs> I was getting stressed out. Um, just like overstimulated, really. I just can't. <laughs> it's on the floor. I I thought I thought I didn't get it. What the fuck? I didn't even feel like it came out. It's like really dry. I mean, not like really dry. I mean, I don't know. But like, is it, is it normal? Are they usually kind of? I don't know what I'm doing. She said I could put it in the palm of my hand and put some drops on it and clean it off like that if it got stuff on it. I don't know. Where is it? Oh, it's invisible, dude. I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Thankfully, doing the costume contacts, that helped me be like relative to my level. Pretty fucking great at getting contacts in and out. You know, I mean, this, this is brand new to me, <laughs> but thanks to me spending 40 minutes, the first time I ever tried to put a contact in my eye, I learned a way that works for me. I don't even think I Googled anything. <laughs> Just like spent 40 hard minutes figuring it out and then practicing by chance recently for Halloween with contacts a second time. And yeah, I really found a strategy that is effective for me. I'll have to show you. How do I know this is clean enough? I don't want to put it in there if it's not like... Are we good? Like, I dropped it on the fucking floor. At least I got it out. Anyway. We did it. I really hope it goes that easily from now on. <laughs> kind of proud of myself for even remembering to take them out. I'm going to my follow-up appointment a week later. Let me take a picture of that. The, the lashes are weird. <laughs> <laughs> kind of freaky. Yeah, okay. but everything looks beautiful. Your eyes, everything is perfect. Okay. Yeah. Good. Cool! I got new, different contacts. They're better than the ones I had before. Like, immediately, noticeably better. Yay! I just got notified that my glasses are in. And I can't wait. So I'm going back to Target. I'm excited! 
you know I'm excited because I look good in glasses and because glasses help my trichotillomania win-win I like them I like wearing glasses probably should have taken my contacts out a different person. Um, Hi, I'm picking up some prescription glasses. Crump, C R U M P. It's my first pair ever. Oh, really? Yeah, it's exciting. Whoa, weird. Um, I don't know if is this the same thing that I have in there? I got examined again today for the contacts. Oh, would contact. it be different? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know how anything works. Okay. I probably shouldn't have been wearing contacts when I came to pick these up. <laughs> well, you can try them out. We give you like 90 days, you know, to try out the prescription oh, and all of that. Great. So during those 90 days, you, if you feel like it's still weird, you can come back and we can change like the prescription for free. The doctor gives you 60 days for a prescription change and we give you 90 days, you know, to. Amazing. Okay. I didn't know that. I was like, well, shoot. If so I So you're like, not completely stuck with yeah, them okay. right now. Great. So you can still, you know, try them out. Also play, you like how to play kids, oh, great. Like that. Cool. That's nice. Uh, do you need anything else for me? Oh, That's it. Great. Thank you so much. You too. And the bag is secured. <laughs> As young people say. Oh my god, I'm not that young anymore. Fuck. <laughs> do you guys forget that I'm 33? Because I forget. You know? I'm not in my 20s anymore. I need glasses now. <laughs> and these were cleaned so poorly. Is this bad to do? I'm not supposed to clean with my shirt? All right, I got new contacts. I didn't like the one in my right eye, the alleged uh, astigmatism eye. I know there's no like basis for this, but I genuinely just don't believe that I have an astigmatism. I think I, it's not a foolproof test even. I thought it was something that she visually had looked at my eye because I did have some like photos taken and some like physical tests of my eyes before doing the visual reading of letters. <laughs> I thought that's where those results came in and that they look at your eye and they can tell that there's an astigmatism. That's not the case at all. It's just during the, the reading of the letters, whatever that is, the visual test. And so it's, not foolproof. I had a lot of gray area during that test where a lot of slides seemed really similar to me and I had a hard time differentiating them. Anyway, I know it's not going to make sense to 99% of people, but I, I have, I don't believe that I have an astigmatism. It didn't make sense to me. Whatever. Okay, just hear me out. Or don't. But, um, and then leaving with those contacts, with that right astigmatism lens, or contact, um, it never felt right. She's like, it's going to feel a little weird at first and you'll get used to it. And it never stopped feeling weird. It, it, my vision looked warped. She said it's not supposed to be like that. Ultimately, she offered for me to do the same prescription in both, meaning no astigmatism in either eye and I said that I had been thinking about that and I wanted to try it and immediately my vision was so much better. I don't think I have an astigmatism. Anyway, so I have new, new contacts. I can see a lot better with them and I have my glasses.
Whoa. This is the first time that I've put them in this on without my contacts in. <laughs> this is weird. Everything looks closer. Like I could grab the tree that's like 80 feet away. <laughs> I'm tripping out a little bit. And my prescription's pretty light. Like I didn't, I didn't even notice. I wouldn't have known that my vision was even impaired had I not had a situation where I was playing Sims for the first time on my Xbox and asked if my partner could read the screen because I couldn't and I didn't mean it like I can't really see so much as I meant like I thought that my TV was blurry that's how it looked to me and I would have kept thinking that I had no reason to think otherwise I I thought my TV was just a little blurry I saw it was I can see everything else on there fine just I just couldn't uh, like, I, I can see TV just fine, you know what I mean? Like, people's faces, it's all good. It was just this text that I couldn't read. And I just thought it was the screen and the graphics of the game. But he handed me his glasses to try out. And all of a sudden, it was crisp and clear. And I just was having a crisis. I was having a crisis. I was like, what? This isn't the TV, this is my eyeballs? I... I need glasses? I... I've just... I've always had good vision. And then he thought that I was struggling with the concept that like I would need to... like that... that glasses would be on my face or something like that. I'm like, no, that's not the crisis that I'm having. That's fine. I, that's exciting to me, you know? It's just that... My eyeballs don't work effectively anymore. They are degrading. That is, I didn't know that my reality was not reality. I'm thinking my TV sucks, you know? But it's my eyeballs. Pretty cool. Glad that happened. Happy to I mean, fuck, I would still be sitting on, if I didn't ask him to read it and he didn't offer me his glasses and wouldn't have even by chance been wearing his glasses that day, he doesn't really ever wear them. Then, you know, I would have just kept thinking that it was my TV and I doubt that I would have approached this topic for a long time. I don't go see an optometrist, like who does that? Do people do that? Do you do? Do you do that? Do you get your annual exam? Anyway, so if you've got the insurance coverage or the out-of-pocket money, go get yourself an exam. Who knows? Maybe you're not seeing as well as you realize, and maybe you can be a cool kid like me now and wear glasses. Pretty cool to be able to see better. I mean... It's dope. <laughs> I'm stoked. I don't think these will be getting much use out of me. We'll see. Ah, I just doubt it. I'm not that impaired. I don't need to, like, keep it on, you know? Anyway, peace and love. Freaking grackles. Hi, Birdie. Hey. I just burped. Terrified of what's inside. Shut the fuck up.